Ventures, and what we do is we really help people uh, of wealth connect their charitable goals with their dreams um, for making the world a better place. Perseverance, uh, persistence, um, faith, initiative, uh, self-determination, um, and opportunity. And today when I think about the American dream, um, I worry about um, uh, people that don't have the opportunities that many of us have to achieve an education and to make something better of themselves. And it used to be that every parent wanted their child to have a better life than they had. And today I'm not sure that's possible for, for a large segment of our population because they're stuck in poverty. We have a high rate of poverty in Cincinnati. And um, people living in poverty just don't always have the same opportunities that that uh, you used to be able to climb out of poverty, and today that's a lot harder to do. My parents from an early age inspired me to, um, to study and to learn, and even though they didn't have the advantages of a college education, they wanted to go to college, it just wasn't possible for them. So kind of as a young child, I had that as a carrot that I wanted to achieve going to college. Um, I, I would say that I had to work very hard. Um, my parents were not able to contribute to my college education. My mom would give me $5 a week if I came home from college for the weekend. Um, and. You know, five dollars back then was worth a lot more than five dollars today. But the the whole idea was that um, I had three jobs most of my college years. I um, one of being one was a work study student, um, which was really very helpful. I I had to get scholarships and grants and things like that. But I was always determined that I was going to graduate from college, and I was always determined that I wanted to to um, get into a job that would pay me enough that I could support myself right out of college. And I was lucky enough to do that. I, uh, necessity, in a sense. Um, I was part of a nonprofit that um, decided to go a different direction. So my segment of a nonprofit was going to be downsized and essentially closed. And I said, um, I think I could make a business out of this. And so really it was kind of luck and timing. It was a situational thing. It wasn't like I did a whole bunch of research or study. I just knew that we had clients within the nonprofit um, that we could, um, that were earning revenue for this nonprofit. Nonprofits can survive not just by fundraising, but by earning revenue. And so uh, I was lucky enough to be able to um, essentially buy a book of business out of this nonprofit and uh, rebrand and rename it and grow it from there. And people, when I was uh, getting out of college, People wanted to get that big job with a big company and have that security and and the fat bank accounts and um, you know many of those people worked in those kind of environments for a while and a lot of them left to start their own businesses or to do something different. Um, I see a lot of entrepreneurs uh, nearing the end of their careers where they want to find meaning in their lives and philanthropy is a way to find meaning, to leave a legacy, to create something that's different from a business that brings your family together. And those are the kind of things we help families do that want to start private foundations. If they have wealth, what do you do with that wealth? You know, you, you can change the world. Um, that's using social capital, financial capital, passion capital, um, it's not just about earning money and having a fat bank account. 
anymore. It's really about how we can give back, and, and I see a lot of entrepreneurs being very interested in that. So, um, I think entrepreneurs have a lot to offer our, our city and our country, and I'm glad to see them coming back. I also hope that we will, as a society, continue to nurture people that um, are currently living in poverty and want to grow out of poverty, and that we help them do that, not just with the hand out, but with the hand up. It's really important. I would say my advice is just to find something that you are passionate about because that will make getting up every day and going to work um, not only motivating but fun and meaningful. And don't we all want to work in something that we find interesting, meaningful, fun?